So another thing you can try to find if you are seeking privilege escalation is unsecurely configured services. So bef uh, before we were looking at um, um, unquoted binary paths. Now let's just take a look at the, um, the, the services it, themselves. So in uh, sysinternals tools, there is a tool called access check, which allows you to query um, security settings on different Windows objects, like registry keys, like services, files, folders, and others, okay? So we will use that tool to check if there are any uh, services which are somehow modifiable by non-admin users. So we have our tools in on a C drive in RTO backslash tools backslash SI and the tool is called access uh, access check. So we give it accept you and the setting is WUVC and followed by a group or a user uh, we are looking uh, for and let's take a look at all services okay and no matching objects found okay so so what it means is that none of the services on this computer is modifiable by everyone group okay let's take a look at for users if they can change any service no it's not possible so let's take a look at authenticated users and you can see there is an SSHD service where the authentic authenticated users have read write access okay so we can query SSHD it's already stopped So the service is now it's stopped, probably due to our previous um, experiment. So keep in mind that you ha you should remove the program.exe uh, binary from the root uh, folder. Okay. So how can we abuse that? So we can actually use our service implant so let's take a look at the source code we we'll go to c rto local privilege escalation implant and there is a file called implant svc.cpp so this is a template for a simple service windows service so it has all necessary functions to register itself as a service and this actually most of the code is taken from Microsoft documentation so it covers everything you need so it has uh, specific functions which, ha which uh, have to be uh, present in the code like install service, uninstall service then there is a service main which is our like a main logic uh, function and uh, where we register our service and set up some handlers etc so it doesn't matter right now just you can use that template um, for for yourself the most important thing here is run me function which contains our uh, like implant uh, logic like the, the the core the core logic of our implant so in this example we will be using run me which does almost anything and nothing which is it will just go sleep for 30 seconds and which returns zero but 
I've also included uh, a simple AES payload decryption and execution uh, code, which you can then use as you've seen in the implant.cpp example. So all you need to do is to remove these um, comment uh, signs and then put your key and encrypted payload here and you should be good to go because it will start your payload as a separate thread. Just keep in mind that uh, it's always good to, you have to make a decision if you want to run inside the process or outside the process. So if your payload should stay uh, in inside our service as a separate thread, or you will just need to launch additional process with uh, appropriate privileges, but it's up to you, okay? So now we will just for the demonstration, we will be using just simple run me, which will uh, like do nothing for 30 seconds. So let's compile that. So we go to RTO LPE implant and we run compile as SV, Our implant is uh, service is uh, ready. So we had that SHD configuration. So now what we can do, we can reconfigure it and point the SHD service binary path to our implant. So RTL LPE implant implant SRV exe okay what is important here is this white space here it has to be there so if you uh, enter this command keep in mind that it has to be there okay now if all is good we can start our our uh, service but before we do that, let's start Process Hacker as uh, administrator. Password hash hash. Just to see what happens in the background. Okay. Let's see if we if we can start the SSHD. Are we able to do that? Yes, we are. So the process is starting. We go to SSHD here. Let's find it out. Find it here. Somewhere is here. SSH. Here. The process is 5800. So we go to the process and you can see it's running implant. So Let's double cl click on it and it's running a system with pretty per powerful uh, privileges. Okay. And yeah, that's how you achieve your privilege escalation. So with that kind of configuration, you will be able to escalate from low privileged user from medium integrity up to the system level uh, system integrity as a, running a system user okay and before we move on uh, let's stop the service and revert it back to the original one i have a copy And just to make sure it looks good, yes. 